So, it's been a while. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today's a special day, not just because it's Mother's Day, at least here in Spain, where I live. Happy Mother's Day, Mom! But also because a year ago today, I posted my very first video. What if Spider-Man was in My Hero Academia, Part 1? This video will have four different parts to it. If you want to skip to any particular part, there will be timestamps in the description and on screen. Although I have to ask for you to fully watch the video, please. I'll be talking about the following things. First, about my journey so far. Then, about Project MDC, which is a Marvel DC crossover I've been working on for a long time. Then I'll do a Q&A. And lastly, I'll say what's in store for the future for me. At least what I have planned for now. So, let's get started, shall we? I gotta be totally honest here. I actually started this channel on November 13th, 2013. At the time, I was more interested in Minecraft. In early 2018, a friend of mine recommended a certain series to me. More than once, actually. I really didn't want to watch it at the time. Time went on and I found the so-called what-ifs on YouTube and started watching them. On May 1st, 2019, I watched a fan-made intro of My Hero Academia. This time it included Spider-Man and was along to the song Peace Sign. It gave me an idea and I started working on it. I started taking notes on how YouTube works and started working on the script, which is actually pretty trash if you look back on it now. On May 3rd, 2019, I uploaded my first video, with one coming out every two days afterwards. I had a goal at the time, I wanted to tell a certain story. I'll get to that part later. But I wanted to have a bit of a following before I started telling it. So I just kept working on my channel. That little by little was growing. On May 17th, 2019, I got an email from James Seifer, the head of We The Celestials. He was offering me a position as a writer. Thinking I could get a bit of money from it and improve my writing, I accepted the position and started working for him. Albeit for not that much money. I kept working hard and started a couple more series. On June 8th, 2019, a bit after I started my third series on the channel, I hit 100 subscribers. I was ecstatic at the time. My numbers had never looked so high. Unofficially, We The Celestials went on a bit of a break over the summer, so I focused on relaxing, having a good time, and working on my own content. I reached 500 subscribers on August 14th. Again, I was very excited. I was halfway to where I wanted to be to start my big series. More time passed with me working and in early September, without me knowing about it, I became head writer. It's a pretty funny story, or at least I think so, but I'll save it for another time. I kept doing my thing, working on two channels and started the What If Midoriya Had Venom over, over We The Celestials, along with a couple other series. On November 6th, I reached 1000 subscribers. Which coincided with the My Hero Multiversity, a mini event for my what ifs, which I'll likely revisit sooner rather than later. A week after that, I was monetized, meaning I was making money. However, very little for these videos. Now, at this point, I was halfway through my first semester of the 11th grade or my junior year. I was getting a bit stressed, plus I was trying to comply with a lot of requests for different series and recovering from a condition I had the previous year. The pressure was getting to me. I tried ignoring it, but around my birthday, shortly after reaching 2000 and 2500 subscribers, it got to me. So in mid-February, I decided to take a break, then a month after, all hell broke loose, causing me a lot more stress. I spent the last two months reflecting on what I wanted to do, how I wanted to proceed. Um, did I even want to keep doing YouTube? I also did other stuff like read 50 volumes of Rising of the Shield Hero in order to not make mistakes in the future and because I really liked them. You see, YouTube at this point in time became, and in a small way still is, an obligation. I feel and felt. A lot of people during the time I was on a break asked when I'd post the next part of this series or that one or when I was coming back. Many understood that I was stressed out but I still felt guilty. So I kept coming up with plans which I actually really enjoyed doing. I like playing but not that good at following through. So that catches us up with the present day. For the last few days, I've been slowly working on a couple of videos. I'm going to try to take a chill approach this time to it and do it for fun. 
I'm also gonna be restoring these series because I want to. I also prepared something pretty special for today, which actually leads me to my next segment. If All One Is Planned, the first episode of this series, Project MEC, came out a couple hours prior to this video. If not, it'll come out in the next few days. It's an idea I've had inside my head since about 2016. I tried to get off the ground in many ways over the years. It actually started with me wanting to do a Minecraft role-playing series. Then wanting to try and animate it, but since I'm not very good at that, and I'm pretty lazy, you're getting at it as I'm gonna make it. I started the channel with the goal of uploading the series in mind. First I wanted to upload it for the 1000 subscribers, but changed my mind electing instead to upload it for the 1 year anniversary. It's a passion project of mine that has the goal of combining the Marvel and DC universes, along with maybe one or two other stories, in interesting ways. I do ask you to check it out and support it, please. I It focuses on Peter Parker, of course, my favorite all-time superhero, as he lives in a world where Superman lived and died, having to assemble his own team of heroes in order to protect the world. I do hope you all enjoy it and please check it out after this video. I just wanted to mention it here at least so you know to do it. Mentioning something I've wanted to do for a while, a Q&A. I originally planned to do it for 500 subscribers but didn't get enough questions to justify the video. I'm going to tackle the questions in order of them being asked, starting with the ones from YouTube then going to the ones asked on Discord. What made you want to do YouTube by Undead Freak? I've been a fan of YouTuber since I was 11. I wanted to make a Minecraft YouTube channel, but I'd never really took off. I always liked making up my own stories, so along the way I decided I wanted to become a writer. I made this channel with that goal in mind, to practice my writing skills. Do you plan on making more What Ifs with Uzutako by Bentan and Arrowverse Fan? I myself honestly ship them. I made one one if where they end up dating and put hints in many about them since it seems like what the show is setting up. Many people seem to have the notion that Deku should end up with other people in other what ifs, but I don't know. I try to not to get into it. But I am biased since again I ship the two. Uh, I know I'm pretty vanilla in this sense, but still, probably the answer is probably. What's your writing process by Ana Torres? I don't really know how to answer this question since it keeps evolving and changing. Usually I think about what I want to do or how the story would progress with certain changes. When I actually start writing, I listen to some music and usually have a tab open with the actual episode I'm doing the what if on for simplicity. I hope this answers your question. It's a bit of a complex one and I'm not really sure how to answer. Do you have any pets? By Brayden Bone. Yes, I have two cats. Technically they're my sisters, but she doesn't live with us and they do. They're siblings. One's a girl we call Yaya and the other's a boy we call Lino. They're shortened versions of names from some characters in a Brazilian historical slash folk tale. Do you have any plans for what ifs there are not anime? By Amit Barabi. I do. I want to do some original series and want to do a bunch of stuff. I, of course, I'm pretty slow to get stuff started since I'm usually very methodical with how I do things. But yeah, I want to do other stuff that's not anime, both cartoons and my own stuff. Do you have any advice for a writer who wants to write what ifs? By Love, Love, Paradise. Know what you're writing. For what ifs, it's important to understand the characters and their motivations. You don't have to stick too close to the main story, but do make the characters feel like themselves while adding a bit of your own voice to them. Basically, try being objective with how they act in the situation. It's hard to do, and sometimes even I fail at this, but it's my best advice. Are you feeling okay in these horrible times? By Shota. Aizawa. Nice to know that the class 1A teacher is worried. I'm doing fine for the physical health part. Mentally a bit stressed, but alright. I'd say I do have a pretty heavy workload, so that's something. 
Can you do X series, continue X series by a lot of people? I'm going to shorten this one. I got about five questions in the Q&A post, but a bunch more overall. I decided to shift my approach to do what I'm happy doing, what I really want to do. I want to enjoy writing and making these videos, so I'm going to say no. I'm going to reboot main series, wanting to improve on them and maybe make them better. I'll start some new ones and restart some old ones. I'm sorry if it's disappointing, but I really have to do what I enjoy again and not what I feel forced to do because otherwise I'm just going to disappear again for two months or longer. How do you do your videos? Do you read from scripts or say what you're thinking? By Burke 23 the first one of the questions that come from my Discord server, I generally write a script and read from it, sometimes editing something along the way, although it doesn't end up always being a good idea to do so. Up until now, I've done it all mostly in one go, but I'm going to try and improve the quality by reading different parts at a time to make less mistakes, like I've been doing with this video. After recording, I usually don't edit much, as it's not my strong suit, but sometimes I do, and then I usually upload the video. Are there any special projects you're working on? If so, when would they appear? By Kid Atlas. Yes, there are many. There's Project NBC, which should have already been released. If not, it will come out soon. Another story I'm working on, just a dumb idea I found interesting and wanted to make into a series. This one will come out as soon as I have it. I tend to take my time with these sort of things, so don't hold your breath. And there's another cool idea that I want to develop a lot more before bringing it to light. Maybe even try an official release or something. Aside from that, I have other projects that I may put on YouTube in the future. Seeing as that was the last question, let's move on to the next and last segment of the video. The future is always an uncertain time, especially now. I, for one, plan on continuing YouTube for the time being, but under different terms. I'll be trying to focus on having fun making these videos so I won't adhere to any schedule like I have done in the past. But the style of the videos will continue, at least for the time, for the what ifs. It will change a bit though. I made a lot of polls on YouTube to try and figure out some stuff. I wanted to reboot a couple of series for different reasons. First, I thought I'd make one long video that combines a couple of parts so I wouldn't be remaking the, the parts, like it wouldn't feel like I'm cashing out or anything, but then I decided against it. In the end, I decided I'd write and record a number of what ifs with a basic editing, like the editing where you only have a couple of pictures in the background and release them and then I'll release them put together with an actual edited with the characters who speak appearing on screen and that sort of thing. I will be focusing on a couple different series at a time. Aside from the what ifs, I'll be uploading a couple different episodes of my own projects like Project MDC, which I never came up with a better name for. <laughs> This is all assuming that the first episode does well, so please go support it. Well, that's it for the video. I do hope you all enjoyed. If you want to support me and my channel, you can always hit that like button and subscribe button and all those things. You can check out my Discord server if you want to talk to me or any other fans or subscribers. Links to that will be also in the description below. I don't want to sound too repetitive, but please, I do want to encourage you all to check out Project MDC. All that said, I wish you all a great day, enjoy yourselves, and stay safe. Bye!